Hey, this is Kendra with Technology Interpreters. And so today we're gonna to be walking through part three of the Hack the Box beginner track, Week RSA. In this exercise, we're gonna be cracking a weak RSA key. So the first thing you want to do, and this is a good practice, and I'm sorry I didn't mention this in my other videos. We're gonna go ahead and control plus plus several times to make this bigger is you want to update your VM. If you do not, you may run into the same issue. I didn't have trouble. So the first thing you want to do is sudo apt get slash update. What this does is this actually updates your list of, of repositories so that you can do the next exercise, which is going to be upgrading the file. So you see it's going out and it's going to be uploading those. All right, so package list, everything's done there. So we're going to be doing a sudo apt dash get upgrade now i can tell you i did this off the screen because it took a long time so this took maybe like 15 minutes so you definitely want to make sure you do that because once again if all the libraries are not updated you may and packages you may have trouble so now once we've done that we can go to the next part of the exercise so we need to go ahead and download this so week rsa download this one or click download and it takes us this page and then we can download the files you don't want to open it with the archive manager. Just go ahead and save it and note that the password is hack the box. In the top right hand corner, we click on the little down arrow. And you see I've downloaded it before. I'm going to click the little folder section right here. And there's my file. So I'm going to right click. Well, first thing, and I almost left this out. I've actually recorded this video multiple times. Let's change folders. Because once again, what I want to do is I want to teach you best practices as I'm doing this. So there's the file weak RSA, and you know it's got the, the single quotes around it because it's got a space in it. So what we, we want always want to run a file command, capital W. Okay, so it says it really is an archive because when you're doing hacking or you're doing CTFs, you can't assume that just because you download something because it's got a file extension, it really is the same thing. So that looks good. And so now that we run the file command, we can do a simple something too. We'll run strings command on weak RSA. All right, so we got a few things and then we can do a strings and we'll do a minus n and let's just say 10. Okay, so nothing. So what we're saying is I only want strings that are, are, you know, minimum length of 10. So if we do minus five, we can do the same thing with a minus five. But once again, we don't need to do it because we can see from that list that most things uh, in the list are actually greater than oh, i got an error right there typo so we can see that everything in there is pretty much about you know five or so so we see there inside there's a flag.encoding inside the zip file so we can see that and look at there, there's a key.public flag.encoding so there we go so we got an idea what's in there so let's go ahead and extract it i'm going to do the easy way of extracting i'm going to go back to this window and i'm just going to right click on the weak rxa rsa key or zip file and choose extract here and the password again is hack the box. All right, and so you see we now have a folder called weak RSA right here. So the next thing is I'm gonna look here, we're gonna open this up, and so we got the two files, so now we wanna do the same thing. So we wanna to navigate to the weak RSA folder, and we wanna list, L and you wanna do ls-al, because there may be hidden files Okay, or hidden folders and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you do that to see everything. You can't leave anything to chance. Now we want to run file again, flag.encoding. All right, it shows this data file, file, key.pub. And it shows that that's ASCII text. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and let's cat the flag file first. Okay. And you'll be careful with this because honestly, if this is a huge file, you can't, you can't crash your VM. Okay, so... I'm just doing it because I know it's small. So we're gonna cat uh, key.public. Ooh, so there's the public key. Remember, public key is one thing, private key is another. What we want is the private key, right? That's what we were working for. So how do we get the private key? Well, in this exercise, one of the things that shows is that if you have a weak RSA key, you can actually use the public key to get the private key. Now, I've had some people to come into my streams to say, this scenario is not, and this tool is not real life but we're gonna walk through it because it's a learning experience. So we're gonna open a new tab 
and we're going to navigate here and I have the links in the description of the videos. Actually, I may put them on technologyinterpreters.com. That is my website. Check it out. But either way, you go here. And so what we have is a repository on GitHub. GitHub is like where people develop different software. They post it here and you can go, you can grab it, you can use it. So they've made this tool called RSA CTF. And this is what we're going to use. Now, what you want to do is click on the top right hand corner. There's option to for code and so it gives you this URL, this URL. We're going to click on the two little boxes overlapping and see a copy. So we're going to copy that. And now we're going to go back to our DOS window. I'm going to leave that open because we're going to need that key in just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to do a new tab and I'm going to go ahead and make this big control plus, 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 plus. Okay. That should be really nice. And I'm going to type get clone. Control shift V and space that. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially I'm, I'm cloning. I'm literally downloading that entire directory. And so this is going to bring this all down, but I made a mistake. I did something that I did not like to do. Okay. I put it in the wrong folder. Okay. But that's okay. We're going to remedy that. I try to do these tutorials where I don't make mistakes, but sometimes I do. So it's in the Cali folder right here. Don't really want it in the Cali folder per se. So I'm going to drag that, that to the downloads folder. Okay, get rid of that. All right, so now that gets me back on track because I was actually, actually scripted out the exercise to work with. So I'm going to change here to C colon downloads. Okay, so now that I have this, I've cloned it. Let's go ahead and take a look inside it. So we can go to CD and we're going to RSA CTF tool. Do LS. Let's clear this. Do LS again. All right, so you can see the file contents. Now at this point, uh, we're going to run a couple of commands. So, and how do, how do I know to run these commands? Let's go back. I want to make sure I show you everything. So here are all the files, but honestly, this was confusing for me. So I'm just showing it for you. If you already know this is fine, but you can scroll down and usually on the GitHub, they'll have different, like this shows the different syntax for it. Okay. So pay specific attention to this minus minus public key. And I think there's one that says private keys. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Anyway, just make a note. You can look through the syntax. I've already got it set for here. And then if you scroll all the way down, it shows you how to use the tool. Cali specific instructions. We ran a git clone command. This is our next command, sudo apt git install, and it's gonna install these files. This is what doesn't happen or pro properly if you don't do the what I told you at the beginning the apt get update and upgrade. OK, so now we're going to run these commands. So we're going to I'm going to move this to the top of the screen. You're going to open this. And you're going to move this down just a little bit so we can see everything at the same time. All right, there you go. So those are our commands. That's what you're going to be running. Control shift V sudo apt get install. Let's see if this works. And I can tell you if it's going to work or not, because it should have lots and lots of things that is showing progress bars on like maybe four or five different elements. Do I want to continue? Yes, I do. All right. So let's see here. Mm, that ran a little bit fast. It really ran a little bit fast. Now, maybe it ran fast because I've already updated libraries. We're going to see if this works out. So next. So we're already in the in the. Uh, the correct folder, right? So it wants us to CD into the RSA CTF folder. We did that earlier, so we're already in the RSA CTF folder. So now the next command is we want to run this pip install requirements.txt. Okay. Control. Well, actually, that's going to be a control C. And going to go back here. Clear. Control shift V. Let's see how this command works. Do you want to install it? Yes, I do. And so this is where, let's see. We want, yes, we want to choose to continue there. All right, so want want to see progress bars showing that okay, there's one. Okay, if this finished quickly, I'm going to be a little concerned that it might not work. Ooh, that was a little quick. I'm not so certain about it, but okay, here we go. So now that that's run, we've officially installed it. Now it wants you to run this Python, and that's the command. But we've got to include the appropriate options. Okay, and remember I showed you earlier what the options were. I've already got the command scripted out. So let's go ooh, make sure everything looks good. Uh, let me double check, make sure I did. That's requirements I text. Once again, that ran way too fast. Little concern. It may be that I've just already updated my VM. 
So let me show you the ne the next command. This is really uh this is really I'm gonna take just a second to slow down. So that's command Python three rsctf dot py p by I'm sorry dot py dash dash public key. Remember I showed you that earlier in the command list. And what I'm doing here is I'm doing a dot dot backslash to go up one folder because remember we're in the rsctf folder. So if you do dot dot slash, that takes me up one folder into the downloads folder. And then I'm typing weak RSA, which is the name of the other folder. And I'll show this. I really want you to get this. OK, so we came dot dot slash takes me up to the downloads folder one level. OK, and once I'm in the downloads folder, I then need to go into the weak RSA folder, which is here. And that's what you're doing now. This backslash because the name of the, the file or the folder has a space in it. You put the backslash in front of it and it basically allows you to be able to use that space. I didn't realize that until today also. And then key.pub. So this is the file we're referencing. Sorry if this is a little confusing, but it'll take time. Trust me, it'll take time. Just kind of look through it and see if you can figure it out. And then we're telling it dash dash private, which means we wanted to generate a private key. And then we're using this greater than sign to output the private key to a private key.txt file. Okay. Let's see if this works. All right, so I got the same error message, <clears throat> which is of concern. So I ran. So my suspicion is that the library command did not run properly. And so and maybe something with pip is not installed because I just installed pip. So I'm going to do this. We do it apt get dash. Well, sudo. <clears throat> and I'm going to do an update. Let's see how everything goes. And there shouldn't be a lot to update at this point. OK, that was really quick. Now I'm going to do upgrade again. And let's see how this runs. OK, all right. And then I'm going to run the library command. And actually, I'm just going to copy it. Because like I say, I've done this, I've done this uh, tutorial multiple times before I made the video to try to like fix this error. And I, and I can't, I keep running into it and I keep not understanding what actually fi is fixing it. Okay. So that, that ran successfully. So now let's go ahead let's run a requirements.txt file again. I'm going to clear my screen. Because once again, remember I told you I was expecting. All right, so we are finished with that. So that is what we need to see to know that it's working. So theory again is that you have to do the pip install. And once you do the pip install, you have to do the updating upgrade at that point. So now we're going to circle back again. We got that that installed. Well, the requirements are in. So now we're going to try to run the command again to get generate the private key and actually I'm going to clear this. We'll make sure we bring that to the top of the screen. OK, now we're going to run a command. Let's see if it runs successfully. That's looking good already. Hey, look at there. So you're going to see a progress bar that lets me know the file is there. So if I do a ls, I should see private key dot text. There is my private key. That's good. So what do we do next? Now that we've generated the private key from the public key, we're going to go to CyberChef. One of my favorite tools, so amazing, does so many things. So that is to make sure you got the right lane, the, the right link is gchq.github.io. Once you click on it, it's going to open up and we're going to go to the left side where you can choose what you're looking for. So we're going to do RSA decode. That's going to be our option. Double click on the text itself. And it should put something here. I may have to wait. OK, so let's try this. Let's go ahead and open our file as input. And what you want to do here is you want to open the flag dot encoder. So downloads. We RSA, which is lesson flag dot encoder. So this is the encrypted file. Then we're going to use RSA decrypt. Still not doing it. There it is. Finally. So RSA decrypt. Now, remember in the earlier in the exercise when I was able to get the public key, right? Well, that's good. 
but now we want to get the private key. Now I can't just open a private key here. So I'm going to open up a new window. Going to control plus 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 to make that big. So that you know that can you should know that by now, right? I've said that multiple times. Downloads. All right, and we need a private key, which is in the RSA CTF folder. And clear. And we're gonna cat um, private key.txt. There's our private key. I'm gonna copy that. Control Shift C to copy that. I'm gonna Control A to erase that up. No, 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 don't close the tab. Cancel. Click in here, Control A, delete all everything that's in there. Control V to paste the key. And then we need to change the encryption scheme. So don't be afraid to play with this. We'll try raw. No, raw doesn't work. Let's try. All right, and it looks like it locked up on me. All right, whatever I did there. Okay, and then finally, let's try this RSA. And by the way, this is the correct one. And look what we have here. There's the actual flag. We go back to hack the box, click submit flag. I'm gonna paste that here. And choose the complexity. I'm gonna say this is a file six because you're new and it's like, you're just not gonna know a lot of these tools. You don't even know this tool exists if you're brand new, but I've already solved this challenge, but that is it. So we're able to do it in less than 20 minutes. I wish I could do this faster, but anyway, I hope this tutorial is helpful. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if it was, and also subscribe to my channel. I'm walking through the entire Hack the Box uh, beginners uh, track, and then I'm moving on to the next one. So everything Hack the Box here until I finish it all. And maybe one day I'll be a super high ranked hacker guru on the platform. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe again.